Over the next several videos, we're going to talk about some workflow concerns that pop up when using NURBS surfaces. Now, NURBS surfaces are an entirely different galaxy away from polygons, where polygons are going to be uh, you're going to be making a model out of several flat surfaces. And you can add more of these surfaces if you want to make an object appear to be rounded, but in the end, it is still a faceted surface. NURBS, on the other hand, you're working with curvature from the beginning. Everything is smooth and flowing and connected, meaning that these types of surfaces, NURB surfaces, are very well suited for creating organics, uh, machine surfaces, things like car bodies, you know, where you've got nice creases that flow into smooth, flowing edges, you know, that sort of thing. Now, here's the deal. This is the, the thing that I want to kind of tackle first thing. A lot of modelers who've been working with polygons, maybe they've been modeling for a little while, uh, have a hard time with NURBS. And NURBS have kind of gotten a bad reputation because everybody seems to think that NURBS are more difficult than polygons. That's not really true. They're not necessarily more difficult than polygons. They're a bit more technical. They have a few more rules that you have to keep in mind when using NURBS than you do when using polygons. I mean, heck, polygons are more or less a big scattered connect-the-dots game in 3D space. You know, you throw out a vertex, you throw out another vertex. Ooh, there's an edge between them. Throw out one more and you got a surface. There you go. When you're working with NURBS, you have a few more things you have to keep in mind. First off, all NURB surfaces also called patches, have to be four-sided at all times. They can never be three-sided, five-sided, six-sided. Only four. Four is it. Now, along with that comes other rules that kind of tie into that one feature. Think about this for a second. Let's pretend that you have a single NURB surface. Just kind of picture it in your mind, like maybe a sheet of rubber, okay? A very stretchy sheet of rubber. Try to take this one four-sided sheet and sculpt it into a perfect human body in your head. Just think about it. Can you think of any way to take a single four-sided sheet and make it into a fully enclosed, perfectly molded human figure? Not really. There's no, there's no real way to make everything flow exactly the way you need it to. It's not possible. So when you're working with NURBS, you have to build your models out of multiple patches. You can't make a single hulled or single shelled object as you would with polygons or subdivision surfaces. And that takes people, uh, most often I've found when I'm teaching, it takes people a long time to kind of wrap their heads around because your model is going to end up being broken up into several different pieces, but it's your job as the modeler to make it look like one contiguous flowing piece. And we'll be talking about how you can do that as we move along. Now, um, we're going to be covering several different workflow issues here. I'm not going to go ahead and get started on that yet. I'm just kind of getting you introduced to NURBS. Now, keep in mind, all of these videos are supplemental to the Introduction to NURBS videos that were included with the Maya Fundamentals class. And for your convenience, so you don't have to go dig out another DVD, or perhaps you didn't see Maya Fundamentals, which if you haven't, you really should, uh, those videos have been included on your DVD. So... If you haven't seen those yet, I would highly recommend that you don't go any further with these videos. Go back and watch those. It'll take just a few minutes out of your day. Then come back and finish up with these NURBS workflow videos. So with that, let's get started talking about NURBS surfaces.